Hey guys, welcome again again to another uh, reaction video. I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and today's one we're gonna be watching. Could Rhyme be become champion in in Pokemon Violet? So I thought this reaction was not gonna be anywhere near coming back to my channel because after watching the last one, which was. Who was it actually? Let me uh let's look it up. Hold on. It was it was hold on. Who was it actually? I actually don't remember really what was the name of it. It was uh, uh Grusha. There we go. It was Grusha who was became a champion. Dear professor. Now, I already watched that one and uh, not a lot of people actually seem to really like it too much. I kind of thought it was a lot more people who was going to enjoy it, but looks like there was not many that uh, watched it. So I ended up just felt like there was no reason to watch it anymore. So I just kind of stopped. But someone wanted me to do it again, and I, I won't deny any reactions. So obviously, I felt like why not just give it another go? Who knows? Maybe this time I might, uh, I might like it. Who knows? Now, disclaimer, um, I've already seen the previous episode, which, or the previous, not episode, but previous, um, his previous video of, what was it, who was it, it was, uh, Kuf, uh, Kufu, uh, Kufu's little champion thing, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, you just have to watch it for yourself, and I might leave, uh, leave that link in the description after the, obviously, the video is over. Dear you Professor Sun. Anyways, so. This time it's gonna be Rhyme, which is I have no idea who she is. I or actually I think I know her only a little bit just because I've only not seen her battle. I haven't well I've seen at least his uh, runs uh, sometimes. Well I only know about she, she can do some rappings and she's a ghost type trainer or gym leader I suppose. That's kind of it. I don't really know anything else. And oh my god, could you stop it? Jesus, you're, you're I'm about to, you know what, guys, hold on. I'm kicking you out of my room. Nope, get out. Get out. There we go. Sorry, everyone. I'm I'm not going to get distracted while I'm doing this reaction. So Rocky is going to get out, is going to get kicked from my room. Anyways, so we're going to react to this one. And uh, that's pretty much it. I have nothing else to explain. Um, there is, however, something I'm going to explain, or uh, talk about a little bit. Um, in the last two videos of his channel, uh, his little react, uh, this little, little, uh, becoming a champion videos, there's been some sort of, uh, I guess some sort of interesting things been happening, like, weird. So, when he did the, uh, uh, Grushu, or Grusha, um, video, she you appeared on his video and spoiler alert Kufu also had a little guardian with being Wu Chin you know the grass snail one so this one could end up being with Chi a uh, Chiao Pao or Tian Pao I could guess that will be the next one I would example myself so I don't know and I'm trying to learn a little bit what's what they're a what type of this legendary story going on? Like, what exactly? They, what does that mean? It, is, we're supposed to follow along? Kind of, I'm trying to follow along, but a little bit, just eh, not much of my interest. But anyways, we'll be be right back once this last few seconds is gonna start from zero, and then we're right back. Also, for some reason, YouTube is gonna turn currently, uh, or Twitch is apparently claiming the audio is back. But anyways. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. This is Rhyme, the ghost type gym leader in Pokemon Scarlet oh, and Violet. She's also known as the MC of RIP and only I, recently I took up the role of gym leader after her sister was scouted to be a teacher at Paldea's most prestigious school. And of course, I wanted to see just how good this ghostly rapper actually is. So I decided to play through all of Pokemon Violet as Rhyme, using her post-game rematch team, along with their moves, abilities, and a whole bunch of other rules that basically give me the skill issues of an in-game NPC. 
And this run might prove to be extra difficult because Rhyme's team is mainly optimized for double battles, but the only place you can do double battles in the main game is at her gym. Things are looking rather grim, but that's beside the point, so let's begin. <laughs> Rhyme's early I game team consists of two Pokemon. First we have her ace Pokemon Toxel, which can be found south of Gertondo, but I hatched one from an egg. The other is DJG Rave. Lorewise, this Pokemon has been with Rhyme for a very long time and is likely the one she brought back to life with her singing, I think, don't quote me on that. Anyways, with the early game team ready to rock, it was time to roll over some olives and challenge the first gym. And I gotta say, they definitely upped the difficulty in these games because I've never struggled against Milo this much. Our two main problems were that first, Katie's Tarantula knows Assurance, a dark type move that can easily wipe out all of our ghosts. And second, Toxo is a literal baby who can only do 2 damage with its attacks. But since we were so early in the game wow. that none of our <laughs> official moves were available, Rhyme and I could go collect some useful TMs and try to cheese our way through this battle. The strategy we came up with was to use Lick until her chocolate cricket got paralyzed, then spam Headbutt to knock it out. Then we went back to the Lick strategy on the Cotton Candy Spider and dropped our one time heal to keep G Ray from going into a sugar induced food coma. After that, it was more headbutt spam until the spider was down, and now we just had to take down the gummy bear. But since we were scared, we went for mud slap instead of lick. A guaranteed accuracy drop is better than a 1 in 3 trick. Out next was Toxo, who used Protect to deflect its Fury attack and set its damage counter all the way back. The next piece of the puzzle was for us to use Nuzzle and paralyze our foe. The benefits show. Not really, it just missed its attack every turn. But that was okay, cause okay. to our dismay, the only thing we could do was spam Acid and heal. After missing like 5 times in a row, the spam had taken its toll. That angry Tuddy Ursa was done for, no more. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't think I can try to keep up rhymes for the rest of the gym battles. But yeah, we got pretty lucky on this one and won. Up next was Artisan's gym, where we had to find a bunch of nightlife some flora. Doing sketchy things like sleeping on the streets, buying ice cream minutes before the cart closes, and picking fights. Man, I'm just a little guy, leave me out of this. And while we were searching for these sketchy sunflora, Rhyme and I noticed something on the other side of the woods. Something spooky. Shuppet. It was a shuppet. Which spawned near Artisan at nighttime. Now the cool thing about Rhyme Shuppet is that it is supposed to know an ice type move, which also happens to be available right near Artisan. So as you can imagine, we just spammed Icy Wind and <laughs> uh, yeah, so we lost our sweeper to a small of. DJ G Rave had to put its head in the game to win this one. Then, as any cultured art connoisseur, a ghostly doggy decided to go and lick Barassius' masterpiece, which is exactly how you get yourself permanently banned from an art museum. I don't care if there's soup on the Mona Lisa, do not lick the art. And uh, that just left us with Toxo, so like, uh, things were not looking too good. We paralyzed the Sudowodo and then spammed Acid, and since we got super lucky, the fake tree didn't get to attack us with its Trail Balls move. <laughs> I really need to fix the spelling on this card at some point, but not today. Because after just barely winning the second gym badge, I remembered that I had forgotten something very important, which is a fear I have, like forgetting your wallet at home, or leaving the oven on, or in my case, the fact that I could've just picked up the TM for Ice Fang and Mesa Goza, you know, and had a like, very easy win with G-Rave instead of trying to spam Lick like a fool. Speaking of fools, it was time to catch this clown, Mimikyu, the final Pokemon for Rhyme's team until we beat Grusha. And it wasn't until this run that I realized Mimikyu can be found in the ruins by Lavincia. It's just a very rare spawn, so you'd have to be very lucky to see one, or just force your luck like I did by walking in and out of the ruins until one eventually shows up. But these weren't the only ruins we had to visit, because Rhyme's Toxo is supposed to know a ghost type move to go along with its ghost type Terra, and that move is none other than Hex, which can be found at the edge of these ruins near Team Star's dark type base. The only problem is that Toxo can't actually learn Hex until it evolves. I just didn't want to have a repeat of the Ice Fang situation, so I went and grabbed it before I forgot. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, right, Ayono. Shuppet can use its Icy Wind yeah, attack yeah. to take down her flying Watro, and she follows up with Luxio, who knows Bite. Uh oh. We sent out DJ G Rave, who really dug the current groove, but it wasn't digging it hard enough to win, so Luxio got to knock it out too. Mimikyu tried to be sneaky with his shadow, but its attack was too light, although thankfully it had its glitchy disguise to survive a bite and finish off Luxio the next turn. We try to play rough with Belly Bolt, but the frog is just too bulky, and unfortunately Toxa was powerless and got kinda sulky, which means that Rhyme could not win against Iono. But open world game, we can come back when we're overleveled. Thankfully, the level cap 
have for Kofu's gym goes all the way up to 30, which is exactly when both Toxo and G-Rave evolve. Meaning we could crunch Kofu's Veluza, crunch Kofu's Wook Trio, and crunch Kofu's... Never mind, that show is too hard. But that's okay because we just need a little spark from Toxtricity to fry it right up. That's how cooking works, right? I don't know. What I do know is that this game is super duper glitchy because when we got to Medali, there was no greeter at the treasure yeah. eatery, but there was a text box. So now my head headcanon is that he's the ghost in this generation. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only performance problem I had during the run, because as it turns out, we were a bit underleveled to take on Larry, so Rhyme and I had to go level up our team a bit by taking on Team Star and several of the Titans. And just as we started to go after Orthworm... It's the game, not you too. Yep, the game just crashed on me. <sighs> just three more runs, I can do this. But seriously, Pokemon, this is unacceptable. Anyways, after getting a bit stronger, we went back to rematch Larry. His leading strategy is to just spam Sucker Punch and plow through our ghosts. And also, sometimes, put them to sleep. But the thing is, if you use a oh non-attacking move here. like, say, Light Screen when asleep, moves like Sucker Punch will not work. So we just kept spamming that until Mimikyu woke up, and then attacked with Play Rough to knock out Komala. Out next is Dutton Sparse, who likes to paralyze its enemies with a glare, then overwhelm them with drill runs. But it's not too bulky, so Mimikyu could wear down his health and G-Rave could finish it off, leaving Larry with just his intimidating Star Raptor, which rendered our doggy useless for this matchup. However, Toxtricity could pull the bait and switch, getting Larry to use a normal type move before we turn into a ghost, giving us the opening to zap this normal bird's HP down to zero. With the normal badge in hand, it was finally time to evolve Shepard into something a little more useful, and then take on Tulip. We definitely struggled here since none of our ghost type moves Wait, could hit her lead, and its ability prevented us from you using Sucker Punch, battle, so the you? best we could do you was spam no, Icy I, Wind I while the did. giraffe crunched through our lead. DJ G Rave could return the favor and even scared away her as Pathra, then we used her sneaky shadow to finish off Gardevoir and chip away her Florges Ace. And after all this time, we finally got to use that Hex attack we picked up ages ago, doing just enough damage to steal the show. And that left us with just one more gym badge to go. Rhyme's closest gym leader friend, Grusha. He set up a Tailwind, then tried to attack us with Blizzard, but since he switched to an offensive strategy, we could just spam Sucker Punch and knock out his lead. Despite its small size, Mimikyu could play rough with the bear, but the titan was too bulky, we couldn't even dare. The DJ started to <laughs> skip some beats with its phantom force move, but it didn't bring enough heat to make the titan groove. Not a problem for the main act and its powerful boom burst, cause let me tell you gamers in a battle ace to ace, we all know that Altaria is the worst. So it looks like Rhyme could get every gym badge except for Aeonos given the level cap restrictions. And now oh. it's time to place oh, your final you predictions. Open. Can she beat the Elite Four in a battle other than Diction? Or will I be stuck with another lost streak affliction? Man, you trying real hard to hit those rhymes. If I didn't know any better, I think you're prepping to take me on in a rap battle. Nah, nice. I just think it's kind of cool. Nice but don't there. worry, Rhyme. I know I'd get schooled. Ha! There you go again. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I'm just a silly ghoul. Well, then don't act the fool, because <laughs> you know the rules. If you try to push your luck, then you're gonna get... Uh, time out. I really wasn't trying to pick a rap battle with you. I don't want a Pokemon battle, let alone rap battle. You're good. I was just getting into the groove. Anyways, Rhyme, I wanted to ask you something. Ask away, baby. How come most of your Pokemon are from these abandoned ruins? Didn't think anyone would notice. I guess that's because, well, most people don't know this, but my old man and his old man and back many generations were tasked by the king to preserve the ruins of this nation. Oh, so it runs in the family. Sort of. Technically, all gym leaders are supposed to take care of the ruins <laughs> near their town, but as sorry, time sorry, went by, some traditions start the, to drown. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> I feel ya. Wait, does yeah, that mean you're taking maybe. care of all the other ruins too? I used to, back when I was still doing gigs all over Paldea. But since I'm stuck at the gym nowadays, I get my assistant, MC Sledge, to set up community events with fans to keep these old rocks clean. Ooh, sounds like someone's using their musical influence for the greater good. You betcha. Anywho, let's go catch that last Pokemon before night falls, cause when it's dark, even I find those ruins a little creepy. And here I thought you were just getting sleepy. Uh oh. Rhyme Spirit Tomb has a very interesting build. It can use Will-O-Wisp to burn the enemy for some damage over time, plus its physical attack reduction. It also knows Protect to stall out an extra turn, and Sucker Punch to chip away at their health while they try to take us down. But of course, its final move is none other than Curse. 
<laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. For the cost of half of its health, Spiritomo placed a curse on its enemy, making them lose a quarter of their health every turn. This oh. means that even if our opponent is very bulky, the curse will wear them down before they can knock us out. Hopefully. Unfortunately, this strategy only works if the opponent has one really bulky Pokemon, and Poppy's whole team is a bunch of really bulky Pokemon. And considering we didn't have a single super effective move here, this 9 year old was once again a run under. She's the Nessa Scarlet and Violet, I tell ya. If we could, by some sort of cursed bitter magic, get through this fight, Rhyme would have an easy time winning against Larry since his flying types are rather weak against our barrage of ice type moves. They were also pretty useful against Hassel's dragons, but our toxicity was not nearly bulky enough to stall the curse on Bax Calibur. And of course, if we were somehow able to make it through and get the battle Gita, Rhyme would still struggle, as King Gambit could slice through most of her team, and we'd have to use our curse just to get through the Avalog. Our ace could handle both Go-Goat and Veluza no problem, but just could not hit hard enough to take down Glamora. So unfortunately, Rhyme could not become champion in Damn. Paldea. Dang, still not strong enough? Still? Yeah, the main reason my sis level, had to take over the gym after our pops passed was because I was no good at battling back then. Well, we all have to start somewhere. I'm sure you could have gotten the hang of it. It's not like I didn't try, but man, I just kept losing to those bright-eyed students for no rhyme or reason. Everyone who challenged me back then would swipe my badge. Even that kooky professor wiped the floor with me. Are you talking about Sada? Yeah, that's the one. Though, I gotta say, I'm glad she went on to make those terror orbs. It totally changed the vibe of battles in the region. Now that I think about it, the gyms must have felt very different without that extra power up. You think, but... Hey, watch where you're going. My apologies, ma'am. Oh, I was simply lost again, in thought and didn't see you walking out of the building. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. I recognize you. You're rhyme, right? I gotta say, your music's got me through some pretty tough times. Well, I'm glad you like my work, but that's besides the point. What's got you so distracted anyway? Just thinking about my wife, how things used to be before that darkest day. Oh, sweetheart, don't tell me that she's passed away. Oh no, but something happened to her, and she suddenly changed so much, as if she was under some sort of curse. Ever since, I've traveled across the region, looking for clues or a way to undo it. And since she'd refused to eat save for a few specific meals, I've been getting the lead to deliver some food and other goods to her lab in Area Zero every month for over a decade. Oh honey, bless your heart. Wait, so it was food every time? Huh? A talking Pokemon? What do you mean by every time? Oh, uh, right, um, I've been stuck in a time loop. I've been stuck in a time loop after Sada put me in her time machine. And every time I go down to Area Zero, I've been bringing this box down with me. So you've seen my dear Sada. Pray tell, how is she? She seemed fine, except she was definitely a bit too obsessed with the whole time travel research. It seems not much has changed. <sighs> after a decade of scouring the region, the best I could find was a mysterious organization that knew nothing but a name. And yet, still no clues on how to break her curse. Not sure about all that time travel mumbo jumbo, but if it's a curse you're dealing with, you're going about it the wrong way, baby. Wait, Ryan, you know about curses? Well, of course, but the only cussing I do is in my music. Can you teach me how to use them? You just say the word, baby. No, no, not the words. Like, let's say I have the power of a curse. Uh, how could I use said power? It seems this conversation will have Too to late. wait. I must go to the Sukara Trail immediately. <laughs> wait, Turo! This seismic activity likely holds the first real clue in 10 years. I cannot wait. Ooh, it sounds like something exciting's about to go down. Wanna go check it? <sighs> I guess there's no avoiding it, but Rhyme? What's up? Two things. Promise me to tell me everything you know about curses on the way. Cool, bet. And two? If something bad happens and I say some hurtful things, I just want you to know that I don't mean any of them and that I'm sorry. Cause to me, you've always been pretty cool. I got you baby, now let's go! After all these years, this is your move, Terapakos? <sighs> there you are. Don't run off like that, Turo. My apologies, but this is an opportunity I simply cannot afford to miss. Now tell me, what do you Even make possible. of this? That's me. Huh? 
I told you I'm stuck in a time loop. Apparently, that crystal steak is a past version of me, and I'd rather not get too close to it. Interesting. Then perhaps I shouldn't smash it. Yeah, why have you been doing that? Well, its shape resembles that of the stakes used to channel energy for sealing rituals in ancient Baldean times. And if Terapagos is trying to seal something, then I should free it. Trying to seal something? He's right. My old man used to tell me stories about these stakes. <laughs> and I've seen my fair share of them around the ruins. But they're usually used to keep things closed. Like a door or a treasure chest. A door? Beep, 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 beep. Terrestrial energy is starting to spike. Quickly, Iron Valiant. Oh. One is Wait, afraid. He knew. The answer might displease you. Okay. Ah, of course oh. you know. So what's our dear friend uh, Terapagos trying to do yeah. this time? One noticed a gate following your past self. It appears the tortoise was so terrified of it that he decided to act despite the repercussions. Ah, fear. No other method could get even the wisest of sages to reveal their weakness. A gate. Hmm. It sounds like Terapagos is trying to block my way back home. Or perhaps he fears other possibilities, such as reinforcements or retaliation. Once you've had the opportunity to rest and recover in your domain. I see. And what you're trying to imply here is that if he's scared, that must mean that I can stand up against him. That one does not know. But it is clear that you are the key to his fear. Therefore, one has decided to bestow one's powers unto you. Why, thank you, Mr. I am Ting Lu. Why, born of fear. Huh, for a curse based on fear, you sure don't seem very scared. One does not get paralyzed by fear like others, nor does one flee from it. Instead, one revels in fear. Oh, such joy. <laughs> That's kinda weird. Do not speak as if this is uncommon. Many humans seek out fear as a source of pleasure. Whether jumping out of planes, diving in the depths, or even building parks to elicit fear for fun. I never really thought about it that way. Although, to be honest, I sure wouldn't want to do any of those things. Not even roller coasters or haunted houses. No, thank you. Then one must apologize, for in mere moments, once this process is complete, you shall fall into an abyss filled with your deepest, darkest fears. If they do not scare you to death, then you shall be able to wield one's power as your own. Deepest, darkest fears? Let's see. Fear. Dogs, heights, A bit. death. <laughs> one yeah, shall death. enjoy watching them play out. Nice. And once you have mastered the thing called bravery, Go show that tortoise something truly terrifying. <laughs> we must flee now. You go ahead and get out of here, baby, because it's time for the main event. And this MC ain't backing down. Now bring it. Ryan, you're so scary. Get away from me, please. Oh. And then what happened? I got him to chill out with our icy wind. Hmm. According to this letter, wow, you all of these encounters okay. have been very anticlimactic. Just want well, to skip ahead. Bruh. Something tells me I have even to when say he it. loses his cool, he's still holding back. You feel Bruh. me? Uh, sure. Anyways, thank you for delivering this package for me, Miss Rhyme, and I hope you have a Just safe trip Hoching back home. Jingle. Later, baby. Now then, Mr. Talking Pokemon, sounds to me uh. like finding another you isn't a viable solution. So, instead of sending you back in time endlessly, how is about this? Next time you change your form, try to go for a Pokemon that's a conglomerate, like an Execute or a Blinx. That way, even if you don't find another you, I can run some extra experiments to resolve your Butterfree Effect issues. Now then, safe travels, and I'll see you again later. Well, 
Bye bye. Well, Wow, I gave me the end of my car. Okay, whatever. Yeah, something tells me that this series is going to be more popular eventually. <laughs> like, I feel like I tried to understand most of the things, but there were a few ones that just were a little bit... Eh, so, uh, somewhere around there. And right now, this one looks pretty nice. Although, I wish this video was a little more... more you know, explain, like, they started to have more communicating, but, but they started just communicating just right at the end, sort of, so it just made this video a little bit just, mm, not my, one of my most favorite ones, so, it was a solid, uh, video, not terrible, not bad at all, just, uh, just feels like just, there was just something they were missing in that, in that video, so, I don't know. Also, Adam, here's a link to the actual thing if you want to watch it for yourself. So, so far this one was uh, pretty solid. Kind of st still was wondering why uh, Chia Pao, Chian Pao, or that's it called, was not the one this time. But I guess King Wu was wanted to willingly to take its place. So it's, I guess it's fine. But anyways, guys and girls, I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one. How do you feel about this run? Do you like it? Do you not? I might watch the next one just to complete it. I don't know. And before anyone asks if if I should watch the previous episode, you don't really have to ask because uh, I've already watched it off stream. So I kind of already, you know, know everything about it. So, yeah. But besides that... <laughs> That's pretty much it. And also, I've already watched all of the other episodes, so there's no reason to explain about that as well. Alright? Good. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to Vasco Games if you're obviously are new. And as always, stay lucky out there and take care. Hmm. Unless you have something. Nah, I'm just kidding. Goodbye. <laughs>